Joel and Tisha, authorities uh, seizing 30 dogs as part of that investigation. They are now receiving treatment and care right here. And while their future remains unknown tonight, authorities are now detailing a very disturbing past. The sad whimper of a dog's darkness. For 30 dogs here inside of the Orange County Animal Shelter, their past home wasn't much of a home at all. According to authorities, it looked like this. Dogs chained and trained for sports. Investigators believe those alleged abuses date back years. Daniel has been doing this since 2012, um, but from, I feel like he's been doing it longer. Orange County Sheriff's Office investigator Don Hunter is referring to 41-year-old Daniel Crew Jr., who is facing more than 40 counts of felony dogfighting and misdemeanor and felony animal abuse. In early March, authorities conducted a narcotics investigation on this home on Highway 57 in Rougemont. There, they learned of possible dogfighting and seized the animals. Over the past several weeks, authorities have recovered evidence and examined the dogs, leading to these latest charges. It was very sad to see the dogs in the conditions that they were in. That condition, including puncture wounds, cuts, missing toes and ears, amongst other injuries. It's very challenging to deal with seizures of this kind for, for our staff. Orange County Animal Services Director Bob Morado says the dog's owners will have four to six weeks to post bond on the dogs or relinquish them. If they are relinquished to animal services, experts will be consulted to examine the dogs to see if they can adapt to a family and community. We will continue to assess what it is we can do with these dogs and we will hopefully find some very happy outcomes. An outcome these dogs deserve. Authorities say more charges are likely against others involved in this investigation. Crew Jr. remains at the Person County Detention Center on unrelated charges. Live in Chapel Hill, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.